my dears. So today we're doing another nib review. We're taking another look at the Nico Drawing Design Pen Set. You guys can check out an overview of all of those nibs uh, here on this channel. And yesterday we took a look at the Nico Spoon 357. We're taking a look at another spoon nib today. We've got the Nico number 355. Go 355. And it looks like another type of spoon nib. Looks very similar to the Tachikawa spoon we talked about earlier in the month. And I think this brings us to Nib Timber. So we've got the Nico. 355. This one already feels a little more flexible than the 357 we took a look at yesterday. So I'm going to zoom it, zoom in. And we are inking in the Strathmore 500 series plate Bristol visual journal. This is my recommended paper for inking with a dip pen. So I encourage you guys to experiment and find your own favorites. And we are inking with FW Acrylic Ink in Payne's Gray. Now this sketchbook is a little small for inking in. It's got, it's the five yeah, the 5.5 by 8.5, and it's got this spiral on it that makes it really hard to rest your hand. Seems like your hand is just always off the edge of the paper. So if you are going to ink, I do recommend you get, either you remove it from your sketchbook, or you buy a larger size. Because it is super hard to ink with your hand on the spiral. Just learn a lesson from Uzumaki and avoid spirals. And we are inking with another manga nib today. This one's a little more flexible than yesterday's spoon nib. Not quite as flexible as say a G. So if you're looking for an easy to control nib with some flex, but not too much flex. This might be the nib for you. I'll zoom in even closer. And I don't plan on doing nib reviews for all of November. I'm actually, this is a, this set of nibs, this set of five is actually the last set I plan on reviewing this year, unless somebody wants to send me some to review. And this series was only made possible thanks to Joseph Coco, who was kind enough to edit these videos for me. Oh, I'm off camera on the fly so that we could have an update every day. This puts down a little more ink than the spoon nib we looked at yesterday. That's not a problem, just something important to keep in mind if you want to ink comics rather than standalone illustrations. It seems like a good all-rounder, very easy to use. I said in yesterday's review that I think my recommendation for beginner inkers would be to use Japanese nibs because they, although they're a little more expensive and a little harder to find, although you can find them quite easily on Amazon, and you should check the link in my description below if you're looking for this nib. Um, they last a really long time. They're very easy to use. They don't require any special maintenance. You can get some decent line quality with very little practice. You can get some decent line quality even drawing off the side of your paper with very little hand control. 
they just, they can take a lot of wear and tear. They're just really well-designed nibs. I'm hoping now that calligraphy has seen a bit of a resurgence here in the US, companies will start putting that kind of care into their Western nibs. I find that Western drawing nibs are usually woefully lacking. They tend to be brittle. They tend to be hard to control. They will sometimes just stop working randomly. Whereas I've had the pleasure of getting to ink with a couple of Estabrook nibs which are at this point vintage um, drawing nibs and they are a delight. So I'd really love to see us sort of recapture that. And I know that companies don't care at all about comic artists. So I, I seriously doubt comic artists using nibs would make a big difference, but maybe calligraphers using nibs and glamorizing nibs on Instagram will help us get some higher quality nibs. But at least we can turn to Japan where there's still a huge market for nibs because that's what mangaka tend to use. Oh, snip snap. There we go. We've got our first goof of the day. And I don't know if that's me or the nib. I was kind of going over the same area a lot. And what may have happened is I may have abraded the paper surface with the nib and it may have uh, wicked some of the ink onto the paper. I'll show you guys how we fix that. We take a bit of paper towel. I'll zoom out a little bit and we're going to ball that paper towel up into a point and use it to wick up some of that excess ink and it helps if you don't have hand tremors unlike me. And also helps if you don't create further problems by putting your finger in the ink. But you just keep wicking away that ink. You want it to be as flat as possible because if it's not embossed on the paper surface, if it's not sticking up on the paper surface, you can cover it with correctional fluid more easily. Now, if you are going to add color to it, what I recommend is you go ahead and you do your color treatment you, and then you do your corrections because you're more likely to get sort of a seamless transition or a less noticeable transition by doing it that way than by doing your correctional fluid and then trying to put color on top of that. It's all about order of operations with traditional art supplies. So I'm using a bit of rubbing alcohol sprayed onto a Viva paper towel to clean off my nib. You can also go rinse it underwater, but the rubbing alcohol will remove, um, I'm using, since we're using acrylic ink today, it's going to remove the acrylic from your nib. This is the spoon we reviewed yesterday. This is the spoon we reviewed today. They're fairly different actually. And the spoon we reviewed yesterday has little hashings on the front to help hold more ink. And this one does not. So I hope you found our review of the Nico 355 to be helpful, useful, and informative. You can check the description below for a link where you can get your own nib like this. If it is an Amazon link, keep in mind that is an affiliate link and that helps me out because I see a very small percentage of the bounty. However, if it is not an affiliate, um, an Amazon link, it is not an affiliate link and I see nothing from that. I'm just trying to help you guys find neato nibs and I want you guys to give inking traditionally, especially comic inking, a shot. I think it's an art form. I don't practice it as an art form nearly as much as I should. And it's one I'd like to see continue to survive out here in the West. So 
And if you enjoyed this video and you want to help me out, you can share this video with five of your friends, put out, spread the good word, let them know how much you enjoy my content. Um, that helps me build a new audience. It helps keep dip pen inking alive as an art form and it introduces people to a resource they might find helpful, useful, and informative. So I will see you guys tomorrow with another nib from our Nico set. I think we're taking a look at a G nib and you guys know I love G nibs. So I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.